with uh, now we are going to hear about the call for this year of the Frida program and currently the call is open and it will be open until May 31st so I invite Alessia to please come to the rostrum thank you very much thank you Sandra and everyone good afternoon this presentation, as we said, is a Frida call that many new of you have heard about, and this was mentioned on different occasions during the presentations and even during LACNIC's technical forum. This was mentioned, and this is called Opportunities for Funding, Collaboration, and Support Opportunities for Technical Projects. Frida is a program that was created by LACNIC and was created by LACNIC. Over its history, it has counted on the support of other organizations, and it seeks to provide support to projects, initiatives, and solutions to strengthen the Internet in the region, as well as the development of uh, Internet stable, secure, and global. This consists in an annual call, which is an open and public call, which is coordinated by LACNIC, but under the guidance of an external jury composed by regional experts on the themes defined for each call. At the same time, since its creation, two decades almost have elapsed, and we have so far supported 122 projects in the form of subsidies, seven scaling ups, and 47 awards have been nominated at region level. The support modalities of FRIDA consist in two different uh, ways. Subsidies that provide funding up to 30,000 US dollars, as well as technical support and follow up of the project throughout the life cycle, the execution of the projects and the maximum duration is 12 months. In addition to that, we have the awards that distinguish and highlight those projects, initiatives or solutions produced in the region that have specific evidence of impact or material or technical results and this is an award that consists of $10,000 in the case of these awards. Initiatives can be submitted that have already finished or that are in progress. The beneficiaries, well, we have several categories. This is quite broad. There are players from the technical communities, operators, IXPs, network operators, also from the academia, for example, universities, research centers, or task forces, or experts on different topics. Then the civil society organizations, associations, cooperatives, nonprofit organizations, then also public or government agencies, as well as private entities and or businesses. So these are all the categories that can be nominated for the FRIDA program. There are three thematic categories that bring together different topics with a different focus. One is internet stability and security, internet connectivity and access, and open and free internet. These categories have been defined according to the challenges and needs at regional level for the development of the internet. In the case of stability and security, we seek to promote this through four main axes. We have network architecture and operations, traffic engineering and interconnection, cryptography, security and resilience, and future development of the internet. There's also a subcategory as from the previous call of 2022 for projects that seek to apply solutions or produce a case study on the use and application of blockchain technology for the stability and security of the internet. In this case, here we have the thematic axis um, stability and security. And here we see the original objective. I'm just going to refer to some of these and then some of the priority 
topics in terms of network operation and architecture. These have to do with monitoring, measuring, management, optimization, automation, and or innovation projects in network operations and architecture around one or more priority issues, for example, BGP, DNS, protocols, and performance. In the case of cryptography, security, and resilience, they seek to contribute to these fields, seeking prevention and response and incident response and anomalies to infranets, internet infrastructure as well as generating innovative solutions to some of the topics that are highlighted. This information is also available. In the case of the subcategory on blockchain for internet stability and security, this is a new topic both from the academic and practical standpoint. So here, projects could be submitted, for example, research projects, case studies, proofs of concept and or prototypes, or also approximations to this topic. This provided it in includes practical objectives and results that contribute to a specific solution and or to generate knowledge in this field. In the case of internet connect connectivity and access to the internet, three challenges are sought through this. These can, e can aim at favoring connectivity and quality of access, or also to enhance the regional internet providers. In the case of internet connectivity, these projects should be focused and provide connectivity to the internet to those populations that currently don't have this type of connectivity, whether in rural areas or in urban areas with um, poor coverage, and the focus is on alternative affordable models to reduce the connectivity gaps, for example. And in the case of access to the internet for a quality service, here the focus is to enhance and to improve the existing service. Therefore, the project could aim at improving quality of existing quality in terms of uh, uh, speed of connection, uh, uh, the uh, um, uh, coverage uh, and access to the networks, or also evaluating uh, the needs of access of communities. So as, as a previous project prior to developing a solution that may be directly related to the existing uh, needs. Or there may also be other solutions that may favor the quality of access. And finally, in the strategies to enhance uh, the uh, ISPs uh, regionally, this is quite a broad uh, access that uh, seeks to approach the challenges of a regional uh, ISPs, so the proposals may focus either on the purchase of infrastructure or the equip uh, machines or uh, generating business strategies in the cases deemed necessary or uh, in-house training, improving interconnection or other needs that may present, always articulated into a project. Finally, the category of a free and open internet seeks to solve problems related to the internet and human rights. On the other one, on one hand, there are two um, uh, themes. Um, one is internet and the hum and human rights, uh, such uh, with challenges such as freedom of expression, privacy, data protection, the impact of emerging technologies, among uh, among others, and the other, digital inclusion, that seeks to focus on needs related to the digital, digital divide or digital divides in uh, digital uh, skills uh, and competences both uh, for the future of work and education. The general requirements uh, for managing the pr program are, first of all, the re well, 
for for uh, for applying first of all uh, you need to establish the relationship with the, the goals of uh, the freedom program belonging to one of the categories uh, of uh, the beneficiaries uh, um, being in uh, working in uh, the development of activities in Latin America and the Caribbean and the territories and the coverage of LACNIC and um, um, uh, nomination of one categories uh, and relation with one of the thematic axis of sub categories for instance stability and security and then specific requirements in terms of duration fu funding and uh, open and free development that is particularly important since we seek to favor the development of knowledge <laughs> replicability of the projects too and solutions developed at a regional level there are two stages in uh, the uh, nomination or in the uh, application projects. Uh, it is it's open since starting in April 26, and it will be open until May 31st. Initially, they ask for general data of uh, the uh, organizations that propose the project in a brief uh, abstract, not more than 500 words, and some related fields related to the evaluation criteria that are also important to assess the project. And on the other hand, the projects that are finally pre-selected are invited to present the complete uh, proposal through the platform but with an a more articulated uh, proposal the evaluation criteria first of all the relevance and applicability of the projects are important so and here how the proposal seeks to approach challenges or needs at a local or regional a national or regional level the impact and the the outcomes expected or obtained for instance in the case of awards and the continued sustainability and replicability of the proposal these aspects as i was saying are asked through specific questions in that initial nomination and uh, application and there are some things that are evaluated as being positive for instance innovation of the proposal including the gender perspective the project if the project approaches issues related to gender gaps and uh, the association to the uh, sustainable development goals some important issues before applying first of all consider the description mentioned earlier both of the thematic categories or subcategories in the case of the use and application of blockchain selecting the thematic access more associated to the project quite often there are proposals that approach multiple challenges and may be more closely related to a thematic access and that is why it's so important to consider the information available identify whether uh, they wanted to uh, apply for a grant continuing with a, a project that is ongoing or a prize for initiatives with specific results that are underway or have been completed. This is done through the platform frida.net completing the initial form as I mentioned initially the dates for these uh, for this call is every year it will open on April 26 this that week uh, 2023 and the deadline for the initial um, uh, proposal is May 31st the pre-selected uh, projects will be announced on June the 30th and the presentation of the complete proposals. The pre-selected projects have from June 30th to July 14th to present the rest of the proposal. And finally, announcement of the, the results for August 15, 2023. An important thing is that when selected, the projects, well, usually when a, a grant agreement is signed, I will have to be ready by October or November. This 
item specifically is a new thing that generated this year is the technical and non-financial support. It seeks to provide opportunities to from six to eight projects with the best evaluation averages immediately located and um, immediately after the selected uh, projects. And uh, uh, first of all, there's a high um, there are many people applying and interested in FRIDA because it's the only program uh, of a kind. So you see, in and you see that in the, the 20 years of existence, there is a high level of competitiveness of the call. The projects that are typically presented have a high quality. In the last three years, we have received and evaluated 923 applications and. Uh, to, uh, 42 projects have been selected, and this is also based on a study uh, conducted uh, internally and analysis of the main needs of the organizations that apply. So, although funding is an important part, it is not the only need. Therefore, based on this line that is within the program, and the call, the idea is to be able to give a number of opportunities to organizations that are not selected for funding, but uh, that may you may promote the creation of partnerships and collaboration with other institutions, exchanging experiences, results, um, the uh, activities and knowledge, identifying our spaces, opportunities, and partners. And finally, the uh, uh, capacity building on specific uh, um, themes uh, that are of interest for the organizations. The activities of this line of support will uh, occur in during six months, starting this year. And then, of course, after the selection of projects, during the call of 2023. If you are interested in this call, May 17th at 6 p.m. UTC, there will be a webinar uh, more specific for preparing the proposal, um, the criteria for assessment and how to include them, how to incorporate them in the proposal. So if you're interested, we invite you to register. This is under the uh, training tab in LACNIC and webinars, the site of Frida at lacnic.net, programafrida.net, and there you see the line of non-financial uh, technical support, the database of financial projects uh, of previous years. Now there are eight projects underway, and the contact uh, email is frida at lacnic.net. Tomorrow at 9, we have uh, the last uh, uh, stand on Frida within in uh, on, uh, LACNIC 39. So I'm ready to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, Alessia. Thank you. A round of applause. <coughs> so if you have any questions here, or please tell us if you have any questions via Zoom. There are no questions. Thank